It's been one year since Typhoon Haiyan ripped through the Visayas region of the Philippines. To honor that date, DevEx has come to Tacloban, Philippines. Uh, we're here talking to donor officials, implementing partners, other development organizations, local Philippine government officials, and beneficiaries to really paint a clear picture of what life is like here one year after one of the most devastating storms in history. The situation holds broader implications for the international development community, and we're learning lessons about emergency response and the way the international assistance effort was organized and applied here, and what we need to do to move from a recovery phase to a really a long-term rehabilitation phase. I think that for Yolanda, Yolanda was uh, was uh, categorized in the L3 category, which is in the highest category you can, uh, you can have a disaster, L3. Um, I think one of the, uh, the things we can learn from, uh, from the Philippines is that we can actually uh, respond and we can actually uh, reach our humanitarian objectives much faster than, uh, than perhaps we can in any other country. When I first arrived a year ago, it was a chaos. Everything was completely a chaos. It was devastation that you saw everywhere. And you actually saw people had more or less given up uh, anything uh, of hope. But quickly that picture changed. It didn't take more than a couple of weeks in, uh, in my uh, recollection before you actually started to see the, uh, the actual changes on the ground. And where you also saw people uh, starting to, to get back on their own feet. They started to get back their small informal businesses. They started to build up their, their houses from what they could find uh, on the street, from uh, those who had not yet benefited from shelter assistance. You saw life coming, uh, coming back much faster than, uh, than one ever would have expected from a disaster on that level. Well, so, I mean, one of, the biggest, I mean, one of the biggest things here is that just the speed of the recovery was amazing. Um, I think it's something that I think all of us agree with and compared to even some of our, I mean, many of our previous experiences. For example, if we were to compare this to, let's say, the Indian Ocean tsunami, um, at this point, um, reconstruction hadn't even really fully picked up yet, at least for World Vision in that case. But here we see people taking the initiative and recovering and building back on their own. In fact, like just about a week after the typhoon, we saw people building back their houses out of farm materials and debris. And about a month after in Tacloban, we saw some small businesses start up. So the pace of the recovery has been huge. Um, and it has been, has been extremely quick. So our, our challenge really as, as World Vision is to, if our beneficiaries are on a certain trajectory, like how do we catch them so that they end up building back better rather than um, worse than they were before? But I think as we progressed on that there's been a lot of work with all of the NGOs, local and international, working to build that capacity. And the government's been very welcoming to have that kind of capacity building happen for them. They're very focused on getting prepared for the next disaster. Everyone realizes it, but I think as these have been happening year after year, um, the past few years in a row, that it's time and they know that it's time that they have to have the capacity to respond immediately themselves. Well, first of all, you, I guess you refer to people uh, coming from overseas, expatriates coming to work here mainly. Uh, well, first of all, uh, as you say, it is a very interesting job because uh, working in the humanitarian uh, world, uh, you can see results. Um, what is important for the humanitarian worker in this emergency or in the other one, is um, cultural awareness wherever you go you need to know what it is and which context you work um, flexibility so be able to adapt to the different uh, situation and um, be ready to to work hard because uh, all of us especially in the initial phase of the emergency we work very very hard what is important is clarity of what you want it takes to it takes to, to tango. Okay? Yeah. Uh, everybody, uh, I realize many people would want to help. The many agencies are ready. Agencies are ready to help. Non-government organizations are ready to help. But the LGU will have to be ready with a plan. You know, I really view this as this crisis has always two phases. Okay? Uh, one was were the problems created by it, and the other one are the opportunities. 
that uh, that uh, that that are created. Okay, and I really see this crisis, this Yolanda, as an opportunity to rebuild this town into a more beautiful town.